Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Brian Altano. I'm with Mitch Dyer. Hello. We're here at Tokyo Game Show, or right before the Tokyo Game yeah. Show. Specifically, where are we? Bandai Namco. This is their headquarters. It looks like an Aztec temple. It's amazing. It's gorgeous. So we came here and we got to check out Dark Souls Temple. It's amazing. It's gorgeous. So we came here and we got to check out Dark Souls. Yeah, so I mean, I feel like when the franchise launched, uh, it captivated so many people. It was, it was uh, abrasive and brutal and terrifying. Yeah. And um, then it sort of evolved, and yeah. then now there's Bloodborne out. And yeah. it's, it's interesting that it's still there, and it's on PS3. So uh, the Dark Souls team making a new Dark Souls game that's called something else, and it's for PS4. And here you see minor changes to the environment. It's like, oh, it's another castle, but it's icy. It's got icicles yeah. on it. And it's fine, but it doesn't have the, the kind of luster that you see in Bloodborne, which is like this. Like, oh, it's all wintry, and you can yeah. see a bunch of ice, and there's ice monsters, and they're really hard. The game continually, you know, like Dark Souls does, just whoops my ass. Yep. Uh, you know, I hate to be that guy who's like, well, it's more of the same. It's kind of more of the same. Yeah. I don't know if people playing Dark Souls are really playing for the most, like... The variety. The variety or the most, like, breathtaking graphical sure. experiences No, anymore. no, I mean, it, it is about the core of that gameplay. Yes. Because it is so strong, it's so skill-based, and it feels good to master it. Dark Souls. And it, I'm sure, Crown of the Ivory King, I, Crown of the Ivory King will be that as well. Uh, but it's just hard to be impressed by it. And I'm sure, like, when it comes out, a bunch of people will play it and it'll be awesome. But yeah. I just have a hard time getting excited for Dark Souls 2 right now. And I'm wondering, like, uh, maybe it's time to just move on to Bloodborne or Dark Souls 3. I, I do feel like it's absolutely something for the people who are already hooked into it, who are already there. Uh, it's tough for, I think, somebody to come in on the very end of yeah. the arc of all of this and say, this is where I'm going to start. You don't get bonus points for being more beautiful as you kill me 75 times. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, that's it helps, yeah. but really, I'm dying a lot. Like, purely, uh, accurately scientific. Yeah. I mean, I, I, the people I know who love Dark Souls don't love Dark Souls 2, they're like, oh, it's fine. But I don't know anybody who is actively like, I can't wait for the third DLC. I love sure. the first two so much. They were so great. They were separate from Dark Souls 2. It was like this standalone thing that didn't really correlate to anything. So it just kind of felt out of place. And yeah. now the third one is like, yep, again, probably that. But still, the, the gameplay is solid. It's, it's there. Dark Souls. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be covering games at TGS all week long. So keep it locked right here to IGN. Dark Souls.